Okay, let's talk about the New York State Teacher Certification Examinations. And there's quite a few examinations, but the one that we're going to be talking about in this video is the ATAS, or the Assessment of Teaching Assistance Skills. And even more specifically, we're going to be talking about the math that is on this exam. And uh, because you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are preparing to take this exam, and that is fantastic, as we need all the help in our classrooms these days, from teachers to teachers' assistants. Everyone counts, and everyone is important. So um, what I have for you here is a math problem that you should be able to do without the aid of a calculator if you're fully prepared for the math that's going to be on the ATAS uh, subsection, right? Now, if you're not familiar with uh, the math that's going to be on the ATAS, it's effectively basic level mathematics, but there's nothing really kind of basic about basic math. There is a lot of mathematics that was taught at the, you know, kind of like the elementary and middle school level, right? So if you've been away from math for quite some time, which uh, most of us have been, you need to know how to, you know, uh, do a lot of basic math. And this is a nice little kind of problem that you should be able to do, again, if you are fully ready. Now, I'm going to show you the correct answer to this problem. So what we have is 3 tenths divided by 2 and 1 half in just one second. Again, do not use a calculator and fully simplify your answer. Now, before we get started, though, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I certainly understand what it's like to take uh, teacher certification exams. And I got to tell you that these exams, no matter what exam you're taking, you know, if you're going to be an elementary teacher, a science teacher, or a teacher's assistant, these are professional uh, level exams. In other words, you know, you're going to have to be uh, ready uh, because people do fail these exams, and a lot of people don't get through the ATAS because of mathematics, all right? So you can do this, but you really got to study. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below uh, to my test prep course uh, for this uh, New York State Teacher Certification Exam ATAS math section, okay? So it's very, very comprehensive. And uh, whether you use my course or any uh, or another course or some other material, just make sure you're fully, uh, you're fully ready before exam day, okay? Because you're going to have to know a lot of math to be successful on this uh, particular exam. But let's go ahead and get into the prom now. So here we have um, 3 tenths divided by 2 and 1 half. Again, we're going to put our calculators away. And you want to fully simplify your answer. So let's go and take a look at the answer. The answer is 3 25ths. Okay, now if you got that right, that's excellent. Okay, if you didn't get this right, the whole objective of this video is just to give you some feedback. But even if you got this right, there's still a lot of other math that you need to know for the ATAS. And if you forgot how to do this math, no big deal. It's not overly complex. But again, you're going to have to go back and brush up, you know, a lot of these skills before you take this uh, exam. So let's go ahead and get into the problem right now. So we're talking about division of fractions, right? Let me go and erase the answer. And uh, let's go ahead and just quickly review how to divide fractions. Okay, so we have 3 tenths divided by 2 and 1 half. Uh, let's just uh, quickly review some terminology. So 3 tenths is what we call a uh, proper fraction, okay? Because the top number, which is what we call the numerator, is smaller than the bottom number, which is called the denominator. So when you have this kind of situation like this, 3 tenths, we would refer to this as a uh, proper fraction. Now, if we had the reverse of that, like 10 thirds, uh, this is what we call an improper fraction. Okay, so this is an improper fraction. This is a proper fraction. And if you have something like this, 2 and 1 half, uh, we re uh, refer to this type of fraction as a mixed number fraction. Okay, And what we want to do is write our mixed number fractions as an improper fraction. Okay, So before we start this, we have a proper fraction and a mixed number fraction. Uh, we're going to want to write both as uh, uh, proper fractions and improper fractions, i.e. Uh, we just want one numerator and one denominator. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, let's kind of remember to change 2 and 1 half 
into an improper fraction. We're going to take this 2 right here, right? And we're going to multiply it with this bigger 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, okay? And then we're going to add this 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5, and we're going to put that over 2, okay? So again, I'm just quickly reviewing this. Uh, in my test prep course, it's full instruction. I go through everything step by step. But again, this is how we change a mixed number to a, a uh, improper fraction. Okay, so two times two is four, plus one is five, that's our numerator over two. All right, so at this stage of the game, we have two fractions, each with a numerator and denominator, and we're dealing with division. Okay, so how do we divide fractions? Well, the way we divide fractions is we, is we change the problem from division into multiplication. Okay, so we're, the way we do that is we're going to keep the same, uh, the first fraction, the one to the left, we're going to keep that in its same position. So that's going to be 3 tenths. But to go from division to multiplication, we have to take the fraction to the right of the division symbol. In this case, it's 5 halves, and we have to flip it upside down. Okay, that's called the reciprocal. And uh, when we do that, we can now change this into multiplication. So instead of 5 halves, we're going to have 2 fifths. Okay, so let's just make sure we understand here. We just took this problem here, 3 tenths divided by 5 halves, and we uh, wrote it as 3 tenths times 2 fifths. Okay, so when you're dealing with uh, dividing fractions, you're always going to rewrite them into multiplication problems. Okay, so here, at this stage, we've got to figure out how to multiply fractions, and this is very, very easy. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So to multiply two fractions, where they're uh, just one numerator and one denominator, all we need to do is multiply the respective numerators and the respective denominators. So three times two, that'll be our uh, answer for our numerator. And then 10 times five will be our answer for our denominator. So here we have three times two, that is six, and 10 times five, that is 50. Now at this stage, you might, uh, many of you may have gotten this as your answer, but you always got to question whether your um, answer is fully what we call simplified. So in other words, if you got an answer, a uh, fraction answer is 100 over 200. Do you think that's fully simplified? Well, it's not, right? Because that's equal to one half. So simple, uh, simplifying fractions means to reduce those fractions. And that's a whole nother skill set that you're going to need to know not a lot about. But here, this particular fraction, we can reduce. So the fraction 6 over 50 can be reduced to the fraction 3 over 25 because 2 goes into 6 3 times, and the 2 goes into 50 25 times. Now, there's a way we could have seen this right here. So when we're multiplying our numerators and denominators, we have 3 times 2 over 10 times 5. Uh, some of you out there uh, remember from, you know, um, back in your grade school days that you could take this 2 and divide it into this 10. We call this uh, cross-canceling, okay? So this 2 goes into that 10, 5, and now we're left with just 3 over 5 times 5, which, of course, is what? Uh, 25, right? And, of course, that is the final answer. So even this problem right here, we're talking about, uh, you know, basic uh, fraction division problem, you know, we're doing quite a bit of stuff. We're changing uh, mixed fractions into improper fractions. We need to know the procedure to go from uh, division to multiplication and how to reduce and simplify. So again, you know, basic mathematics is really not basic, right? There is no such thing as really kind of basic math uh, because there's a lot to know, right? Decimals, place values, fractions, percentage. This is all the kind of stuff that you're going to be facing on the ATAS. And you're going to want to be fully ready, okay? And you're going to put your calculator aside and, you know, learn the concepts and practice this stuff. So uh, whether, again, you know, it's a course like mine or something else, make sure you fully uh, study and practice, practice, practice. That's the only way you're going to increase your math skills by actually doing math problems. But anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the New York State Teacher Certification Exam, ATAS exam. I hope you pass this because we definitely need great people in the classroom. Thank you for your time and have a great day.